What's up guys, Justin here from CBI Off-Road. Today we're working on our brand new 2022 Nissan Frontier. We're gonna throw some side steps on it. We'll show you how to put them on. All right, so the first step is get everything laid out. Make sure you got all your parts and pieces, your material, your hardware. Um, we're gonna have four of the gray top plates. We got two steps six of the brackets and we got our separate hardware here um, the larger hardware is going to be to hold the top plates down to the step we got our hardware to go on the vehicle on the factory studs we have our other top plate countersunk hardware and then we have our associated nuts to go on the underside of the top plate so once you get everything laid out um, get all your hardware prepped uh, we have our vibratite also the loctite then we'll get to installing all right, so now we're gonna install our top plates. Um, so these are very specific in the direction they go, um, as well as the step. So on the step, you can see we have third gen Frontier cut out in the step. So that um, cut out is gonna go towards the rear of the vehicle. So this side would end up being the passenger side. Um, the top plates have a countersunk hole, which needs to go upward, obviously, for the countersunk screw to recess in there nicely. And um, they're very specific with um, these holes needing to line up. So we'll get you a close up of the mounting holes and just make sure you get your top plates aligned where you're able to get a bolt through the top plate and the step into the mounting bracket. So come check out that close up. Okay, so this is gonna be um, the rear, obviously, because we have our um, directional identifying indicator um, right here. And we have our countersunk holes there, so we're gonna line those up. And these two parallel holes here, you can tell because they're smaller than the rest of the holes, those are gonna be our mounting holes where our bracket's gonna attach. So you just wanna make sure that you have your mounting holes lining up on the top plate. So the rear of the step is gonna have one mounting bracket, the front of the step is gonna have two. So here we have our rear mounting bracket location lined up. We'll move to the front of the step. So here we don't have our um, frontier cutout. So this is gonna indicate the front of the step. So we have one countersunk hole down there. We line that up and then you can see here we have um, two mounting points where the bracket's gonna go with our smaller holes here and our smaller holes here. So again, make sure you have your countersunk um, facing up and you line up those two mounting points and you know that this stop plate is going to go in this location. We'll repeat um, on the other step. Okay, so now we know where our top plates go. We're going to go ahead and get our hardware prepped with a little bit of Vibratite and go ahead and get our hardware started and then go around and tighten everything up with a 530 seconds Allen and holding the nut side with a 7 16 wrench. Okay, so we're under the vehicle on the driver's side and we're just gonna point out um, the factory studs. So this is where we're gonna mount our brackets. There's three, stud, three sets of studs on each side of the vehicle. So the brackets, yeah, they're all the same, so it doesn't matter um, orientation at all um, as to which one goes where, as long as they're sitting just like this so that our step can sit nice and flat on top of there. So once you get these in place, we're gonna get our um, included nuts I just dropped one, I have to grab that, but here's um, the 13 millimeter wrench is gonna be used to tighten these down. So we'll get everything kind of run up hand tight and then uh, we'll get the step aligned and then we'll come back and tighten them down. Okay, so we got our driver's side um, step in place. We lined up um, the step with our mounting bracket underneath. So we're gonna get our bolts started. Um, make sure you get some Vibratite on it before you get the nut on there, but we're just gonna do them hand tight right now. Um, we'll get our alignment set and then come back and tighten it all down. So to tighten it, we're gonna use a 732 Allen 
and hold it with a 916 wrench. Once you get those tight, we'll jump uh, on the bottom and get our 13 millimeter bolts nice and tight. Okay, so everything's tight. We're just gonna jump under here and get our main bolts tightened down with our 13 millimeter wrench. All right, so now we're gonna install the rest of our top plate hardware. We're gonna use the same Vibratite, also our 7 seconds Allen and 9 16th inch wrench to get everything tight. Once we finish that up, we're gonna to jump to the other side and do the exact same process. All right guys, that sums up today's install tutorial, the 2022 Nissan Frontier Sidestep install. Always like and subscribe to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.